guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, and today I'm gonna to be filming a video on the Mason Pearson brush. So the Mason Pearson brush, Mason Pearson has been around since 1985. It was founded by Mason Pearson in London, England. Let me go get my brush. Let me go get my brush. Okay, go. So all of their brushes are actually handmade, which is pretty cool. Um, and also all of the, the packaging has stayed the same for all these years, which I think is really amazing. I, I could appreciate that history. So I actually have been trying my best to grow my hair. My hair has not always looked like this. I will post a picture here somehow um, of how my hair used to look. So throughout the years, I've been like researching every like as much as possible uh, great products that work cult favorites um, and things of that nature to help keep my hair nice and healthy and get my hair to be where I want it to be and when you do that you'll come across Mason Pearson because it's such a cult favorite of course it's won so many awards it's been around forever this is the brush it comes it comes in the box like this and it comes with a um, a brush cleaner just get that brush cleaner. Um, so it comes with a brush cleaner that I actually use to clean my brush. So this brush, it comes with boar bristles and nylon on it as well. And I believe the boar bristles and nylon is for like thick to medium hair, thick to medium coarse hair. So I got this brush and it is actually retails for $195. Of course, I got it on sale at Costco. They had a members only sale um, and they had the Mason Pearson on sale for like half the price. So I had to do it like I had to like I just had to because I've heard so much about it that I wanted to know why everyone was so crazy about this brush and so many people say I've read comments and like articles and everything and so many people say they've had this brush for like 20 30 years they gifted this to their daughters and they've had it for like 20 years it's just insane like I, I wanted to know what why the whole fuss okay and it was half off so why not for a long time I didn't have the Mason Pearson brush I couldn't get myself to pay for it so for a while I've been using the Olivia Garden 100% boar bristle brush with nylon as well so essentially it's a, it's a very similar brush if, if you were to ask me and that's why I bought this brush it was $27 at Ulta and I bought it because I wanted this but I couldn't buy this so I bought this so I've been using this for like a year and a half and it's, it's great it's fantastic but of course with the sale I got myself to get my, my dream brush. I got the junior one. Again, it's for uh, medium to thick coarse hair. This is how the brush looks like. So you can see that it has less bristles than this one. This one is like, they're just like everywhere. The boar bristles are just like kind of everywhere or these are just like more separated. It's actually really neat is that this, the way this is created is actually patented. So that's, that, that just blows me away. Like what is, what? Like I have to try this brush. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually comb my hair with one of these with my brush on with the Mason Pearson on one side And then the Olivia Garden on this brush actually I haven't done this before so you'll see my reaction But again the science behind why this is really important for healthy hair is because the roots of your hair So your scalp actually produces really healthy oils that it will then give you really nice and shiny and luscious healthy looking hair the problem is that the tips of your hair, actually, it's really hard for the oils of he up here that are produced naturally to come down here. So what you're supposed to do is that every night or in the morning, I do it at night, is I brush my hair to make sure that the oils from up here go down here so that my hair is nice and shiny and healthy. So that is the science behind the brush. The boar, bristle br the boar bristles help do that, helps stimulate uh, blood circulation as well, which will help give you nice healthy hair in return and help with hair growth and all that stuff. If your scalp is healthy, your hair will be healthy and this will do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair on my left side. So here, let's do this. So you can see that my hair is really shiny. I do find that when I brush my hair, like this is really gentle. As you can see, not a lot of my hairs are come off and my hair actually sheds like crazy. Um, every time I go to my boyfriend's house, I actually like, there's hair everywhere. By the end of it, I'm 
it's so gross, but it's true. Um, my hair just sheds like insane. Okay, so there is that. You can see that my hair looks really healthy and shiny. And yeah, and it also gives it like that nice beachy look, especially if like your hair is really curled. This is great to just comb right after you like curl your hair with a curling iron. So I'm gonna try the Olivia Garden uh, Bore Bristle Brush. In comparison, So this one, actually, like, you can see that it pulls more hair. Like, I don't know if you can see that hair. It pulls more hair where this one, like, I swear, not like, barely anything came out. But this, I already feel the tug. See? That's typically how I brush my hair, and I always try to massage the oils from the bottom to the top. Not do that here too. That's a trick. You want to make sure that the oils from up here make it down here. Okay. So this is the final product. As you can see, like. This hair is just more flat and this one is a little bit more puffy and I can feel like this hair is a little bit more like soft and like more nourished with my oils whereas this is more like dry at the bottom. You can probably see it actually looks fairly the same. I don't know why this one is so um, puffy but I'm going to go ahead and try to brush now with this one to see if it'll flatten it out back to this. Be smart. Yeah, see, look, it like flattened it out even more. Okay, so I, of course, like I personally really like the um, both brushes. Like for a long time, I was using the Olivia Garden. Um, I do think that this makes my hair really shiny, um, the Mason Pearson brush. Um, but again, it this is such a similar, like it feels the same. I do feel like more of my hair comes out with the Olivia Garden than with the Mason Pearson. And for me, I'm just trying to grow my hair so I don't want anything falling out. So that is my overall review between the two brushes. Again, if you can buy this brush, I recommend giving it a try. If you can find it on sale, go for it, take it, you won't regret it. It's a handmade brush that'll last you years. It's like, it's such a like, it, luxurious feeling when you're brushing your hair at night. I don't know, I feel like a princess using this brush. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely, if you can get it, definitely get that. If you're not there yet to buy this brush and you don't see it at, on sale anytime soon, go ahead and try the Olivia Garden. Um, I can count on this brand, they have really good brushes. And you can try this uh, nylon bristle brush or if you find a similar nylon bristle brush, 100% bo uh, bore bristle brush with nylon, I recommend giving it a try. And again, combing your hair from the root to the bottom, bringing it down will help the oils from your scalp come to the bottom so that your hair looks nice and shiny and healthy. I mean, it's really important to do that. I recommend it to brush your hair like this from the root to the bottom, bringing it down every night and I promise you'll see a difference in how healthy and shiny your hair will look. And yeah. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see similar videos as to this one, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Take care.